We've got that Mommy Magic. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9. It is 9.41 on the clock. Welcome back to The Mother Show here on Magic 89.9. My name is Ricky. I'm Andy. And we have with us uh, our special guests for today. Yes. Um, I, this is, this is one week them on the show. That's right. Weeks, weeks, weeks in the making. And i um, super excited for this um, because uh, we've been wanting to talk about marriage, marriage. and money, money. And these are topics that are very um, touchy. That's right? right. That's right. Especially when you're when you're starting out. or hot, Yeah. Hot topic topics hot button topics yes <laughs> yes <laughs> no but yeah i agree um they're uh, essential if you you're planning to start a family yes uh, so we thought we would invite two very credible uh, mm-hmm. speakers. Yes. So we have Chinky Tan and Novi Tan. Yay! Chinky actually does a lot of talks. Um, he's Mr. Chink Positive. Chink yes. Positive. And he's also a best-selling author. Um, he has three books, Till Death Do Us Apart, which is a very nice book. I know, I right? <laughs> Till Death. Yeah, for richer and for poorer, for uh, rich God, poor God. And he's also you also are a radio DJ. Not a Be- DJ, <laughs> <laughs> but you host you host a radio show, the right? Yeah, yeah, once a week, once, once a, a week. week about money. Oh, yeah. nice! Yeah, talk about money. Okay, and um, th- they've actually been married for twenty years. So we also have the wife, of course. Yes, Novi Tan is here. Good morning. Yes, Good morning. So you're celebrating uh, twenty years next week. Yes, yes. next week. Wow! Of course. <laughs> and how many how many children do you have? We have three. Three. All teenagers by now. All teenagers. Yeah. yeah. So how is that? What is that <laughs> like? How is it well, having three teenagers? Definitely, it's challenging. Challenging uh-huh. because most of the time we we thought or we think that we're training our children, yeah. but in the in in reality, it's it's the other way around. Wow. It's the teenagers who's training us to be more patient, to be yes. more understanding, mm. to be more. Um, Persevering, mm-hmm. uh, honestly, because uh, there are a lot of changes mm-hmm. also in their lives. Mm-hmm. So we need yeah. to learn how to adjust and adapt with them rather than asking them to adjust and adapt with us. That's the reason oh, why there's a so conflict. Good. There's an age gap. Yeah. And we often think when we were young during that time that our parents cannot really understand us. And likewise, it's the other way, way around. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so. What a what a great insight. Mm-hmm. What a great insight. I and did not just think the first of it that two way. minutes. <laughs> yeah, I did not think of it that way. No, that's great because you see a lot of um, you know people parents bickering. Ay nako yung mga bata ngayon. Yeah. Da, 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 da. But that's a good way to. Mm-hmm. That's a to good way to see it. it. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. actually the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. Galing, mm-hmm. galing. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, wait lang. Wait lang. So I this is like absorb ko muna. Can we do that on repeat just for everybody? Let's, let's mark that yeah. so that we can. So if you guys want to listen, if you guys want to share the podcast, or if you guys want to share also the live, we are streaming yes! live on Facebook on the Mother Show PH and also Magic eighty nine point nine. And if you guys have any questions, feel free feel feel free to throw Shoot. it in. Yeah, that's and, right. Um, we have an Instagram account and Facebook. Okay. So, uh, yeah. let's get to uh, our guests, uh, Chinky and Novi. So, I'll, I'm going to start with you, Chinky. Yeah. What uh, What were you doing before you had kids? What was your career? Yeah, I, I was already in, in the field of selling uh, mm-hmm. before. But before, prior to that, I was in the entertainment industry in the Philippines. Okay. From 87 to 94, I used to be a comedian in the movies and TVs. Oh. That. Yeah, back when we were, when you were probably still young. <laughs> a baby. When you were still a baby. I was not. I was. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So oh. I, I, I was in that industry. And uh, from there, I transitioned in, back to business. Mm-hmm. And from business, in 2006, I sold all my businesses. In 2008, I transitioned to a new career that's writing mm-hmm. and communication and that's speaking. So that's what I've been doing for over 10 years. So I've been, uh, uh, I average around 200 speaking engagements per year. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes. On top of that, I um, write books. Actually, that's not updated already. I have already, we wrote, I, I wrote already 15 books as of right now. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, 15 books and aside from that I write also for dailies for newspapers mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and on top of that I have two shows two shows uh, two, uh, TV, TV shows TV shows okay yes. about money also about ma- mm-hmm. money 
about money. It's all about money. That's what I've been doing right now. All about money. Yes. Wow. Wait. So I, I let's go back to when you were an entertainer for a couple mm. of years. Why did you, why did you transition out of that? Well, well, I've noticed that you're only good as your last picture. You're mm. only good, good as your last call slip. So especially if you're starting a family, you cannot tell your family, oh, no one will eat first uh, because uh, wala akong call slip for three months. Oh. Diba? Wala mo nang kakawin. Bawal mo na kumain. <laughs> so I just need to find uh, a, a more stable at yeah. the same time. Uh, one thing I've also teaches people is that uh, you need to create multiple income streams. You can mm. never put your eggs in one basket. In one Good. basket. Mm. Uh, talking about never put your eggs in one basket, oftentimes it, it's always referred to investment. Okay, mm. when you invest, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, well, actually, it's the other way around. Before you can invest, you need to have money. Mm. So you need to create multiple income streams. Oh, wow. So that's what I've learned right from the start. So from one income stream right now, uh, we, we've created a lot of multiple income streams. That's the reason why I transitioned out of movies and then uh, back to business. I'm mm. blown away. <laughs> no, because you, you're you right. You know, people say, don't put your eggs in one basket. They oftentimes refer to that's investments. Right, the investments. Yeah. Mm. But you really need more outlets. Yes, more for sort of, the, like for, for example, example, for your for your profession right now, outside here, probably you can do hosting. That's right. If not hosting, you can do also a YouTube channel. You can also sell your products. So it's like you're talking about Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, it, yeah. It should be. Uh, I it think, really should be yeah. like that. Yes, because name me one millionaire and billionaire that has only one source of income. Ooh, that's true. Mm. They have multiple sources of income. So if we want to be like them, not really copy their business model, but copy the principle behind it, and they create multiple sources of income. Yeah. Would you say that these multiple sources of income, these multiple, you know, outlets where you get cash? Are they talents? Your talents? Do you play on your talents? Yes, definitely you play on your strength. You what's your skill? Mm-hmm. What are you, what's your core competence? Mm-hmm. What are you good at? Oftentimes people will ask what's the best business to get into? Uh, yeah. Is it shawarma? Is it milk tea? Yes, it may be a fad right now, but the problem is if you do not know what you're doing, uh, probably you will not make it. Number two, if it's you, you're doing it only out of money, not out of your passion, yeah. not out of your yeah. calling, once you face challenges, you give up. Mm. Unlike when you know that you're good at something and then that's your calling, that's your passion, no mm. matter if you do. I always tell people, you just find something that you love to do so that you don't have to work for another day in your life. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you hear that a lot. Yeah, if you look at successful people, uh, from Michael Jordan, from Stephen Curry, from Manny Pacquiao, they just love what they're doing. Mm-hmm. They enjoy what they're doing. Yeah. And in the process of getting uh, uh, enjoyment from what they're doing, they get paid. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So likewise, I do believe why you're doing what you're doing right now. It's not only because you get paid, but mm-hmm. because it's a calling. You, like you reach out to people. You help people. You inspire people. And on top of that, you also enjoy. And then in the end, in the in the process... You get compensated. That's great. That's great. Wow. If you're just joining us, um, that was the voice of uh, Chinky Tan. We have him as a guest today. His wife as well, Novi, is here. Hello. So, which brings us to how did you guys meet? Yes. What stage were you in your life, Chinky, that you met Novi? Where were you? Uh, me? I, I <laughs> got married at a later age. Okay. I, uh, at 33. I met her at, when I was, I think, 31 or 32. Mm-hmm. I think I will leave that story to her. Go ahead. Yeah, and I Are you a better story? 25 years old. Wow. Oh. Okay. So, we met in church. Mm-hmm. So, I call him Kuya Chinky. <laughs> Kuya! <laughs> because our gap is like Kuya, eight years. Eight huh? years. Eight years. Oh, yeah, eight, eight years. years. <laughs> 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 but anyway, that's that's how it started. Mm-hmm. Kuya, kuya, ganon. And then we met in a small group setting. Okay. So I'm one of the worship leaders in the church, mm. and he's one of the leaders in the church. Oh wow! And that's so right. that's how you met in church. Yeah, yeah, we met in church. And what were you doing, Novi, at the time? Oh, I, at the time, because I'm a music major in. At the time, I think I just graduated from USD. Okay. And then I'm, I was teaching in a school in Quezon City. Oh, so you were a teacher? Yeah. A music ah. education teacher. But my major is voice. Okay. Nice. I'm a voice major. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Wait, wait, wait. 
kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's parang she was ready na. <laughs> so so you're you're almost 20 years married, um, three kids. Yeah. Have you always been very particular about money? Yeah, because uh, yeah. E- ever since I think that's my passion and uh, because uh, of my background, yeah. I always tell people sometimes your pain can be a gain for another person. My pain point before when I was young, uh, at age 12, my father business collapsed. That's the reason mm. why we went through times of hardship. Okay. And when I, I can still remember when I went to school, I had no lunch money. I would go to the comfort room, open the faucet, and drink as much water as I can. Wow. That will be my meal. And I can still well remember Voltes 5 during that time because my classmates have, had lunchbox, stickers, notebooks. I will have mm. none. I will wait until such time that their stickers will peel off and I will pick it up from the floor and put glue and put it on my notebook. So that was so hard up. Uh, mm. It was really re- very hard times during those times. And because of that uh, incident, and then I told myself that I want to become a millionaire before mm-hmm. I reach the age of 35. Mm-hmm. So I started my sales career at the age of 12. I 12? Sold, yes. I sold toilet papers. I sold mm-hmm. pants, shoes, shirts. In school? In school. Wow. I, everything that I can get my hands onto. You just, tried to sell. Yes. As a matter of fact, my motivation why I go to school is not for me to learn, it's for me to earn. Wow! <laughs> Take out that right? What were you doing at 12? It's <laughs> earning in school. Yeah. Wow. So, so because of those uh, uh, hardship and experience, and I was able to achieve what I want to achieve mm-hmm. at a very young age, and then I knew that there are a lot of people who are just like me, who's struggling, who wants to make both ends meet, who wants mm-hmm. to yeah. help, but they find no one tra- no one's teaching them, no one's training them, no one's equipping them. Mm-mm. So I found that gap, I found that niche. That's the reason why I want to teach people on how to make money, how oh. to handle money, how to grow money, and how to protect money. Oh my gosh, how to make money, how, how to, to earn money, how to grow money, how, to, how protect. to protect it. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so when you were so you got married 20 years ago and how is how what are what are the issues when it comes to like of course did you join bank accounts right away Divad? those you are know, the you have a rule of the thumb the beauty yeah. of um, being engaged at that time with Mr. Chinkitan because of his concept about money and me my background is definitely I don't know anything about money okay if you have it you I'm spend not, it I'm not I don't on. I don't have any concept about okay. money okay and Coming from a big family, I'm, I'm the youngest. We're seven. Mm-hmm. I have seven siblings. So, it's really cool. When we were engaged, we have this idea so that we could be able to gauge our budget mm-hmm. on a monthly basis. We have this before. There's no... I think the cell phone is so huge with mm-hmm. all these big buttons. So, <laughs> we cannot... That phone doesn't function well. So, we, I, we bought this... Um, Ledger. Columnar or ledger in National Bookstore. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Am I plugging you? It's okay. It's but okay. anyway. <laughs> and then, we try to identify our needs and wants. Yeah. In a monthly basis. From transportation, all the little details of expense, we try to put it in a columnar or in a small notebook. And then, we match our expenses at the end oh, of wow. the month. So that when we get married, we're prepared and we know yeah. how do we spend or how is our budget. Would you so advise 10 months. This? Okay. 10 months of engagement. Ten we did that for 10 Wow. Yeah. And this was all his idea, Chinky's idea. Yeah, his idea. And at, in that process, Smart. he was able to empower me and educate me on how to handle money. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> so for engaged people, that's why we wrote this book. Yes. It's um, not only for... Married people. Married people, but to those who are engaged and doesn't know... Any concept about money. That's the reason why I always tell people prevention is better than cure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So would you so would you advise that to yeah. married or couples who are about starting to, out? Or yeah, like? Definitely the reason why you're on a dating stage or yeah. probably on an engagement stage to really know if you're really meant for each other. That's the reason why some couples get disengaged. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's you not, will know a person and how he or she spends, isn't it? And how big of a factor is that? How a person that's, spends? That's a lot. That, that is a big factor because uh-huh. one of the major reasons why there's conflict in relationship, in marriage, is because of money. That's like, true. for example, the other one is really a hard worker. He's a saver. But the other one is a what? Spender. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, the other one's a breadwinner. The other one's a bread eater. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. So, there must be a meeting of the minds. There must yes. be an agreement. If there's no. no agreement, that will be a source of constant conflict. Oh, no. So, if, if, a, a person who wants to save and then would question the other partner, oh, where's, my, where's our money? Mm-hmm. And on that, on that point, you'll be able to correct the, the different backgrounds that yeah. you came from. You were... We were brought up in different backgrounds mm-hmm. on how we spend money. That's true. So how do you will merge that? How will you be able to agree as husband? So before we got married, that is clear for us. Mm. That's number one. Because both of us are breadwinners. Mm-hmm. So how are we going to help our parents? So th- th- all those issues. Yes. And that is in this book. Yeah. Can I borrow that yeah, for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow yeah. this for you now? Can yeah. I leave this? So it's nice. like the book is called Pera ni Mister, Pera ni Mrs. Yes. So it's Can nice. It's a simple the and practical guide on yeah. how to avoid financial stress as a couple. That's true. So funny. My husband texted me. He's like, "Yan, magaling yan. Kinig ka dyan. <laughs> Mister Chingitan. Our publishing company is from ABS-CBN. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Is this the Thank latest so book much. that you have? Yes. We yeah. just launched it last MIBF, September. 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 Okay. Okay, very recent. Yeah, yeah but yeah. still not out in the bookstore in yet. National bookstore. <gasps> so you can, it's really fresh. Yeah, fresh yeah. off the press. You can only oh, get this it is online. Good. This is good. <laughs> and it's in Tagalog. I love it. Yes. Yeah, it's Taglish. Oh, yeah. Because our advocacy to really help Filipinos how to be good mm-hmm. stewards of their money. We want to reach the masses in, with this book as well. Yeah. Because they need to understand. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Oh, that's what a good idea. Gosh, there's so many questions. <laughs> so many questions. <laughs> Where do we begin? I know. Hey, but if you guys have any questions as well, yeah. you can yeah. send them over. Yep. Send them over. It's The Mother Show PH. And also, we are live on Facebook, Magic 89.9. You guys can share the link. And I know Chinky is also live. Yeah. Can I uh, greet those yes. people? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Go, go ahead. Hi, Che Morales. Hi, Mel Jorn. Hi, John Aline. Hi, Mel Andrew. Oh, we have 300 viewers. Yeah. Hi. Mary, Mary Joy. <laughs> And Luisa, De Consu here at the same time. Heinz, Jasmine, Jack, Jack, and James, Carlo Tejada, and Mario and Maria. Don. Okay, Hello, so morning. if you want, please do share also this uh, live broadcast right now. So there will be more people who's catching this live right now yeah. at 89.9. Yeah, so again, we have Chinky Tan and Novi Tan. So if you guys have any questions about marriage, about money, how to grow your money, how money to muna, protect money your money, money, <laughs> money. <laughs> can you divulge? So can you what? divulge like the four things that you said? The grow money, the make money, uh, yeah. and yeah. protect. Can you? Yeah, number, number one is you should learn how to make money, create money. Mm-hmm. Because uh, you cannot handle anything if you don't know how to make money. It's true. Yeah, like for example, uh, earning, like for, working for a job or having a sideline starting a business selling your own uh, strength and your prof- your uh, what do you call this your core competence mm-hmm. so core once competence. you yeah once you make money you should learn how to handle money when you talk about handle saving budgeting yeah. getting out of debt yeah that's very important because mm-hmm. even though you make a lot of money but if you know how, don't know how to save how to budget and you're in debt you'll Taloka. be in a lot of financial mm-hmm. stress mm-hmm. and the third once you have money already it's not enough for you to make money it's not enough for you to save money you should learn how to grow your money Mm -hmm. because money devaluates in time prices Mm -hmm. goes up gasoline prices goes up and the money devaluates like for example if you have 3,000 pesos 10 years ago you go to the supermarket when you come out you have a full shopping cart yeah right now 3,000 pesos in a supermarket now you have probably a basket Mm -hmm. basket full so what happened the prices went up Plus the fact the money devaluates. Oh wow! So you need to really continually grow your money. Do not put your money just only in the bank. Mm-mm. And then last but not the least, even your good in creation, handling, growing. Protect. But if you don't know how to protect your money, yes. like for example, you get you got ill, you you got sick. Okay, so what will happen? All of the hospitalization bills will be siphoned. Uh, will siphon all of your savings and investment. Mm-mm. You will lose everything. Mm-mm. So, so there's a way to protect your yes, money? Yes, there's a way. Definitely, you can buy health care. Yes, you can buy protection in terms of health, for life, non-life. Mm. So these are the things that you need to cover. Four things. If you cover these four things, you'll be financially free. I like how you mentioned <sighs> financially free. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like free. Because people, people, people say that, you know, money makes the world go round mm. and it's such an important thing to have. And this is... A fact. Mm -hmm. Like no matter how bad it sounds or how weird it sounds, it's a fact. If Mm -hmm. you have money, you can can be comfortable 
and you can make your own choices based on what makes you happy in life. And not only that, we, because most of the time we have a wrong perception when it comes to money. Some people say that money is the root is the root of all evil. Okay. But in reality, it's not. It's the love of money. Yeah. It's the love of money more than friendship, mm-hmm. more than relationship, more than your name and reputation. Mm-hmm. That is the root of all evil. Yeah. But your money, as money. per se, it's neutral. You can use it for good. You can use yeah. it for bad. True. So you can use it to help other people. When you use it to help other people, to donate, to help people who are ill, sick, who cannot afford, it's good. Yeah. But if you use it to for yourself, yes. you only keep it for yourself, yes. I think that will be a problem. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. May ganun din pala. Yeah. So it's the love of money. Yeah. yeah. More than just money. That makes sense. Do you share the same principle, Chinky, that you have to, like whatever money you put out there, you get back time seven? Well, actually, that's a principle of sowing and reaping. What you sow is what you will reap. As a farmer, when you sow, you expect a reap. Mm-hmm. Uh, you expect, expect to harvest. harvest. So I haven't seen a farmer who planted and said, I wish this plant will die. I wish this plant will die. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so it's so ridiculous for you to plant and then you hope that it will die. It's a natural process. But as a farmer, uh, for me, when I help other people, mm-hmm. it's just a mere fact that I really want to help. If there's a return or not, it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. But I know because of the natural process, it will come back. Mm-hmm. But yes. I don't give okay I don't help because oh, because you want because you want back time back. Seven. Yeah, okay it I doesn't see. really matter it's, it's it's just a matter of you know what this is the interesting part this is what I've discovered the reason why God wants to bless us is for us to become a blessing to mm-hmm. others yeah. I hear you mm-hmm. the reason why we were we are prospered so that we can also prosper others I love mm-hmm. that that's mm-hmm. the reason why I don't really find uh, I don't look at money as dirty uh, at the same time I don't have problems when I make so much mm-hmm. so I make so much so that I can give also more to yes. other people mm-hmm. I can help more people yeah I'm speechless. <laughs> We're gonna but, let the callers. Yeah, we'll let, let the callers ask some questions. Is that is is that okay with you guys? Yeah, go. Uh, Chinky okay. Novi. Yeah, okay, please. so eight six three one zero eight nine nine. Magic. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're on air. Who's this? Hello. Hi. Who's this? Yeah. Yeah. This is Paolo. Paolo, welcome to the show, Paolo. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, actually, my question is that uh, uh, I'm actually uh, what do you call this? an IT uh, engineer, uh, but uh, I wanted to spend, uh, save a lot of money, but unfortunately, uh, I have, you know, a uh, family that has, ang tatawag dito, uh, uh, utang na loob, ika nga. So, mm, uh, debt of uh, gratitude. Yeah, mm. yeah, correct. So, uh, my, uh, uh, what you call this, uh, my uh, wife has, uh, may, may utang na loob sa kanyang familia, familia. But so we're you know you're giving back gratitude, but uh, sometimes parang nasasobrahan na kami sa ano mga gratitude na ganyan, and we're ha- having hard time to save money. So mm. that, so can you have a you know give us some tips on that yeah. one? Are you married already? Yes, I'm I'm married. Uh, I'll I'll ask my wife to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, well, basically, it's okay for you to help your parents and siblings. As long, number one, you agree as a couple, mm-hmm. you cannot keep it as a secret mm-hmm. because the foundation of relationship is trust. Mm. Uh, the end doesn't justify the means. Sometimes we mean good, but we keep it away from our uh, uh, mm-hmm. our spouse because mm-hmm. we're so afraid when you talk about it and then if they keep on asking, well, it's going to be a disagreement between me and my wife or you're going to just argue. So some people just keep it as a secret. Mm-hmm. However, if they discovered it, that will be a big problem mm-hmm. because the, uh, the trust is broken or will be broken. Yeah. So that's number oh. one, as you agree. And then number two, you set a limit. Mm. It's not because, uh, because un- unfortunately, the reality is this. Our income is limited, but our expenses are unlimited. Boom. So it's very important for you to set limit to help. Okay, this is you can just need you just need to expand, uh, explain to your parents as much as we want to give more, but we can only afford to give up to this point. Nice, yeah. yeah to add Correct. to that, uh, you probably, also uh, yeah. To add to that, you also need to protect one another. I know it's not an easy topic to talk to your extended family regarding money, mm-hmm. but you need to be clear in such a way that you'll be able to convey your priority, but with respect. Mm-hmm. Nice. Correct. Like for example, on my side, we are both breadwinners, mm-hmm. my husband and I. But mm-hmm. I protect Chinky in whatever decision that we make. 
I always say, for example, they needed money. And then I will say, okay, I will, Chinky and I will talk about it. Can you give us time? Mm-hmm. So it's always like that. You don't have to decide right at then or be pressured to decide that you will give money to them. It's a matter of showing them that you are unified as husband and wife. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yeah. They will nice. see the power of agreement in you. Mm-hmm. The goal is also is the joy of giving to them. It's mm-hmm. not yeah. a responsibility. But you also have to check in such a way that, you know, we want to help you. But at this time, I have my own family. So yeah. we have certain priorities. So, is it okay if you can help us to save money on that end? So, something like that. Mm. Okay, you want to say something? Hi. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, so actually, uh, to, uh, to clarify further, uh, yung situation is make, uh, we're supporting the parents plus yung uh, siblings ng brother-in-law. Ayun so, oh. so, it's probably the time, the time limit. The question is, when is the time limit? Is it no, up to college? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you can support the parents but not the brother-in-law. The brother-in-law can, ano, can, uh, can already work at the same time study. Mm-hmm. Diba? Actually, that, that, that's the problem. Yung brother-in-law doesn't have any work and uh, siya kasi nagpa-aral nung bata pa yung uh, wife ko. Mm. So, ah, so that's the debt of gratitude. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yan yung utang na loob mm-hmm. na <laughs> Okay, okay lang mag-usap talaga kayo. You need just need to agree. And you just tell them the limit or uh, when is the right time or uh, when uh, is the probably the deadline or probably can say, okay, we'll save an, an enough amount of money just yes, for you to get started. Uh, I hope that you can start a business with this. You can start an enterprise with this. So as much as we want to help you on a monthly basis, we cannot help you anymore. The reality is uh, we cannot afford it. So in, you just need to talk. You just need to agree. Oh, kasi at the end of the day, diba, if you want to help them, pero if you, you or yourself don't have anything to give them, yeah. so paano yun? Mm-hmm. You'll be, at, yeah. the end of the, at the end of the day, you have to be clear to them from the very, very start. Mm-hmm. And don't delay it. You mm-hmm. have to, you say that this is the only budget that you have, yeah. mm-hmm. and be clear about it. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you for you. calling. Bye-bye. Good luck. It's 10.08 on the clock. 8631089. One more call magic or not. Or okay. not. 8631089. We have uh, Chinky and Novi Tan with us uh, today. We're answering questions about money. Just in case you have any magic. Hello? Hello? Hi. Who's this? Oh, oh this is M. M. Hi, M. Welcome, M. What question do you have? Um, regarding po sa, ano namin, sa oh, Okay, wait, sorry, M. Don't listen to the, don't listen okay. to the live stream, ah. Yes, yeah, okay. turn it down first. Mag- magugulan It's a little lang. delayed. Mm. Sobrang delayed niya. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, M. Yeah, good morning po. Um, we're struggling po kasi ngayon, uh, regarding sa finances namin. Mm. Um, dami na rin po namin utang. Mm-hmm. So, gusto lang pong, i-ask him uh, searching kung ano bang gagawin namin kasi um, yung value nung husband ko is not enough na rin to mm-hmm. pay yung mga expenses namin we have checked na kailangan namin na um, bayaran every month yeah then we're planning na rin po to um, penta na lang din yung car namin yeah okay sige got it uh, can I? Uh, yes, yes, okay. yes, go. Okay, guys. Uh, so, yung question ulit, di ba? They're a couple. They're having har- a hard time making both ends meet. So, lubog sa utang. So, maraming mga bills. So, in other words, uh, like for example, if you have a glass uh, glass uh, table, mm. you can only put so much load. Mm-mm. So, once you put too much load on a glass table, what will happen? It breaks. It will break. Yeah. So you don't want to come to the point that you will have a financial break or what you call, uh, not financial break, financial stress and then it will break your relationship, it will break your marriage. Mm. So, okay, I'll give you uh, a few tips. Like for example, the first thing, the first thing that you need to do, okay, before I give you the tip, I'll just give you an illustration. Our water bill regularly is around 3,000 pesos. That's a regular water bill because we have so many people inside Mm -hmm. our household. And then all of a sudden, it went up to 15. Wow, <laughs> 15? Yeah. Without any uh, uh, additional consumption, without any... So, so basically, we have four choices. 
first choice is we borrow, utang, mm-hmm. to pay off the 12. Mm-hmm. Second, sell, sell something, benta sanla. Number three, add additional income or overtime. Mm-hmm. Or fourth, find the leak. Mm. What do you think is the right thing to do? Ano sa palagay mo ang tamang gawin? Yeah. One, two, three, or four? Hello? Hello? Yeah, ano sa palagay mo? <laughs> uh, diba? you, again, the situation is from 3,000, it went out to 15 na hindi na makami nagdadagdang ng consumption. So yung una, so kapos na kami, kailangan ko talaga ng dagdag na income. Yeah. So una, uutangin ko siya. Pangalawa, benta sanla. Pangatlo, is additional income, sideline, or ng pangapat, hanapin yung tagas. What do you think is the best option? Hanapin po yung tagas. Hanapin oh. yung tagas. You find the leak. Uh, but often times, when people are in need and in lack, the first thing they do is what? They borrow. Mm-hmm. They use their credit card. That's a no-no. Because you're, you're gonna get into more debt. Yes. Number two, they sell something. But once you sell something, you're gonna sell it at a loss. Yeah. Number three, they stress themselves by adding more work. By had, looking for ano, overtime. So in the process, what's happening, it's going to cost more uh, time away from the family. The most logical thing is find the leak. Like for example, what are the leaks? Do you eat out... What's the name of our uh, caller? M. 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 M, do you eat out with your spouse from time to time? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Yes, how much do you pay? How much do you pay? Per per ano, per meal the, for the two of you. Nililimit ko lang. Hindi, oh, sige, yung totoo lang, yung totoo. Sabihin mo kung magkano. <laughs> yes po, ano. Mga magkano? 500, nililimit ko lang. Dalawang kayo, 500. Oh, in a week, ilang beses kayo kumakain sa labas? Uh, yung totoo. In a month. <laughs> Ito to. Yun naman. Sige, sige Yun naman. Yun po siguro. Kasi sobrang okay. nililimit ko rin po talaga. So sige, more or less. Ano, siguro po, two to three. Uh, In a month. Uh, let's put it at three. Three, that's 500. That's 1,500 times 12 months. That's 1,000, uh, 18,000 pesos in a year. 18,000 pesos. So, if you say, okay, at 18,000 pesos, that's limited already. I don't know how much money you're making. If you are making 18,000 per month net, that's one month of your salary. You cannot afford to do that. So, the first thing that you need to do is not borrow, is not to add more income. The first thing is change your lifestyle. Instead of eating out, okay, deliberately, three times a month, you have to be strategic and then probably eat probably once a month na lang. Okay, that's uh, that's reality. So once a month, that's 500 times 12 months, that's 6,000. From 18,000, you went down to what? 6,000. So how much money was saved? How much money was saved? 12,000. Tama? Ems? Oh, listen to this. Money not spent is money additionally earned. Ang pera ang hindi mo ginastos ay dagdag kita mo. You don't have to stress yourself. You don't have to borrow. Mm. So, in other words, look at your lifestyle. That's number one. Oh, next question. M, nagmi-milk tea ka ba? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Grabe! Huh? Hindi po. Huh? Hindi po. Eh, yung oh. ikaw, hindi. Pero yung asawa mo, baka pwede umiinom. Diba? Okay. Nagkakape ka ba? Diba? So, the point is this. Ito lang po. Uh, I, can, I can really go down to the numbers. But reality is, we have so much uh, expenses that are unaccounted for. Mm-hmm. It's a small expenses. The one that really kills a budget is not the rent, it's not the electricity. Yeah. That's number one. You look at that. Second, ask yourself, what is the biggest bill that you are paying right now? I think you said it's a car, right? So, right now, if you say it's a car and it's putting so much stress, you cannot afford it. I think you have better, you and your spouse better think, is it time for us to sell and cut okay. loss and then commute again? Because this is an obligation. Believe me, if you uh, sell your car, you, it will be a big what? A release from your financial what burden. Is that right? Yes or no? Yes. So, that's the reason why you got to agree as a couple. Okay, let's start from that. Change your lifestyle. Once you already change your lifestyle but it's not enough, that's a time that you look for an additional income. The first option is not looking for an additional income. The yeah. first option is change your lifestyle. Find, Find the, the leak. leak. Okay? Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Em. Thank you. I hope you absorbed all of that. <laughs> Thanks, Em. Um, Sir Kinky, nag-buy po ako nung ano nyo, yung Com. Oh, yeah. Ching TV. Yeah, online course po. Anong, anong pinanood mo doon? Um, 
objective yeah. Yung sa real estate po. Yeah, how to ano, ah, in real estate, sa so, real estate. Kasi nagbuy din po kami ng ano, ng lupa. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Sa mga burden. Oh, yun din. Oh, so bay sa bay siya eh. Mm. I know it's okay for us to be ambitious, but if you too, put too much load again on the glass table, it will break. Yeah, I know your desire is to you know live a comfortable life, but at the end of the day, you have to choose your battles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, isa isa lang muna. Yeah, one at a time, friend. One at a time, M. Huh? Okay. okay. Thanks, M. Thanks, M. Call us back in like a year. Yeah, let, us <laughs> let us know how it's been. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> no. Baka may sarili book na din si oh, M. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, M. Thank you. Oh. Good luck. It's 10.16 uh, on the clock. Saying what's up to my mom who's listening. Hey. Hello. Uh, so many people are watching us on our Facebook Live. So mm-hmm. many people are picking up nuggets of wisdom Great. from Chinky yeah. and from Novi. Saying what's up to Jerome who says, Galing nun, I will keep that in mind. God blessed me so that I can be a blessing to others. Yes. Uh-huh. Ganun na nga nangyayari ngayon. Even if I have a... I, even if I have a little to share, mm-hmm. I'll still share it. Of course. Like me as an OFW, pag, nagka, pag nagpa-cargo ako, meron ako dun included para dun sa kilala namin. Mm-hmm. Na... Wala. Galing! Mm. Galing! Masarap daw pakiramdam. Oh, uh-huh. naman. No, naman. No. That's and good. Judith also said, every married couple needs to read Chinky and Novi Tan's new book. This one? Again, yeah. Perini, this, Mr. Perini. And it's gonna be out. When is this out again? Uh, hopefully, it will be out next week or two weeks in the bookstore. But right now, it's online. You can buy it online. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah. at chinkshop.com. And also in, at ABS-CBN. Yeah. Books. Okay, so CM, si our previous caller, she mentioned chinktv.com. Yeah. You said there's a chink shop. Yeah. These are all of your little streams, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because this is what I've realized. Uh, I'm only uh, number one. Uh, I average around 200 speaking engagements per year. Mm-hmm. If I average, let's say, 200 people per, per session, that's around only 40,000 in a year. How about those people, especially, I created Chink TV. It's an online course to reach out to the OFWs. Okay. Oh, because right. the OFWs, as much as they want to attend my session, yeah. they cannot yeah. come because we're distant apart, time apart. So I want to reach out to them, make it more practical for them. So that's the reason why I created the ChinkTV.com. It's an online course. You can watch a lot of good stuff there. Wow. It's just like the Netflix of financial education. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's all you. You're, yes. you're the one giving the... Yes. Wow. Wow. Like, for example, on how to retire at 50, wow. I have a special online course, how to invest in the stock market, mm-hmm. how to save, how to budget, how to start a business from scratch. Do they have to register for this? Yes. Uh, yes. All of my uh, actually tr- teachings and trainings are for free at YouTube and Facebook. Mm. If you want anything that's for free, I have 800 videos at YouTube. Mm. That's, okay. okay. It's called Chink Positive. You can just check it out. Uh, I have 400,000 subs as of right now there. And at Facebook, I have 2.2 million. Mm -hmm. So you can get all the info there for free. What is the one that you have to pay for? What kind of knowledge do you... In part. Yeah, because that's a course. Yeah. It's a step-by-step guide already Mm-mm. to for you to know already the ins and outs. Oh. Especially in YouTube and Facebook, we give you the principle and the ideas. Yes. But not really the practical because it takes a lot of time. Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of steps. Like for example, a three-hour session. You cannot put that on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's in the online course you have to, <coughs> you can do that. Yeah. Wow. So a step-by-step guide. So you can go to chinktv.com mm-hmm. and it's very affordable. Online courses probably start at a few thousand pesos. Okay. But we we only uh, have them invest 799 pesos. Okay. 799 and you can watch this for the entire year for one whole year. You can download it. Ah, uh, you cannot download. You have to watch it live stream. Ah, uh, you watch it live stream. Live That's stream. That's so cool. Yeah. So again, this is Chink. TV.com. And on Chink Shop, Chink Shop, that's where you get all the books mm. that we have. We uh, deliver door to door. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nationwide, but not abroad. Okay. And abroad, we have what we call as ebooks. We mm. we have ebooks there. They can order the ebooks there. Galing. Yeah. Chink Shop, Chink TV. Yes. Very nice. It's 10 20 on the clock. If you're wondering who we have today on the Mother Show, uh, we have Chinky and uh, Novi. That we're, we're we're with them all the way until 11.30. So if you have any questions for them, uh, just let us know. You can call us up, 8631-0899. Magic, hello? Hi. Hello, you're on Are air. Are you there? 
Oh, we lost her. Anyway, it's 10.20. Uh, Chinky, you're live as well, right? Yes, I'm just saying hi to Chinky Pacheco, to Anna Hanson, and Monster Cookie. Hey, <laughs> Monster <laughs> Cookie. Yeah, Monster that's a cute Jonah. name. Hello, Jonah. Hello, Jonah. Yeah, and then MG Tinoy. I, I just want to say hi to all of you. Hey, thank you very much for uh, listening. What's up, the Chinks? Uh, who says, uh, I have learned a lot, still learning a lot from the show, uh, from the hosts and the guests as well. Thank you so much Thank to Chinky you. and Tonovi for being here. To Red Sparrow, Kiora, uh, how do you help educate fam, family? Yeah, family members. With OFW members to be wiser with money without offending them. Yeah, it's very important that we, I always tell people the best form of education rather than teaching and preaching to them. People don't want to be preached to. Mm-hmm. It, especially uh, about money. Right? Yes. 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 So what normally they do is they get my books and give my books as a gift. Mm. I have one book, another book that's really, uh, uh, went, it went viral. It's called Diary of a Pulube. Okay. Mm. Diary of a Beggar. The 22 money mistakes that you can make in order for you to be broke. Okay? Like travel now, pull be later. Shopping now, pull be later. Uh, uh, coffee now, pull be later. Party now, pull be later. Uh, so, this are, I'm not offending anyone. Okay? Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm, I, I'm not trying to think. Not at the While I'm sipping my latte. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah. So, this are, we're not uh, probably mindful of th- this thing. So, it really reveals right. the, the habit of a Filipino, the culture mm-hmm. of a Filipino. So, because of that, half a million people have read that book already. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. It has been a consistent bestseller for one year at National Bookstore. Ah. Yeah, I'm really so blessed with uh, that opportunity. So, Diary of Apolubi. So, most of them, they buy that book and they give it as a gift. And once they read, they, they, they laugh at themselves mm-hmm. because they can see themselves in that situation. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, Diary yeah. of a Pulube. Noted. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's a good Christmas Chink shop. Gift. Yeah. Chink shop, Chink guys. Shop. <laughs> Chink shop, door-to-door delivery. Yeah. Yeah. So other than buying Chinky's books, which is good, <laughs> is I think you really need to start um, to change yourself first, to mm-hmm. model it to your family. Mm-hmm. Oh, Because yeah. you cannot, you know, activate that that you want to save, you have to do, but at the end of the day, it's a heart issue with money. Yeah. So you have to model it to your kids. Like we, Chinky and I have homeschooled for 14 years. That's so right. So we started them, we started our kids really uh, to have that great concept about money. Okay. Since they were little. So mm. how do you do that? You really just have to model it. Yeah, model first it, you model yeah. it. And then, like for example, when they were still small, uh, we, we let them touch like, Coins, mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. types of money, and we say this is twenty pesos, like that. Small concepts oh. in a little basis, and then we definitely um, teach them the needs and wants. Mm-hmm. Like for example, going to the mall and they yeah. get the stuff toy. Do you think this is a need or a want? Oh, nice. mm-hmm. So we try to identify don't, don't no, those nuggets. Yeah, those are that's basic. Ah, uh, the needs yeah. and the wants, and to teach that at such an early age yes. is very effective. Yes. Yeah, it it was effective when they were young. Right now, they're teenagers. It's good, diba? With with money, you can teach math. Yes. You can teach character. You can teach. Oh, that's you know, right. Be discerning on how you spend Mm-mm. money. So, madame, madame, siyang integrated. So yeah. it's but, life skills actually. But from the get go, you're already imparting that that money is important. Yeah, yeah. it should be handled with care. Definitely, yes. definitely. I, we always uh, educate and train our kids, especially. I, uh, I, we, uh, me and my daughter, we wrote another book called "Raising Up Money Wise Kids." You and wow. your daughter. Yes. Yeah. How old is your daughter now? When she wrote that, well, she, uh, was, she say, was 14 thirteen years old. Thirteen or fourteen. Wow. Now she started 18. young. Like yeah. you. Now yeah. she's earning yeah. on her own because of that book. Yeah. Uh, we. Uh, we train them mm. uh, again. It's it's not wrong for you to give allowances to your kids. If you give, that's I respect yeah. that. But we don't give allowances to our kids. We allow them to earn wages. They work for it. So if from, they from the from the get go from the start. Yes, oh, no. yeah, from the get go. Uh, like for example, if they do extra chores at mm. home, they get paid. But if they mm. let's let's say they wash the dishes, do they get paid? No, mm-hmm. you ate. 
<laughs> oh yeah. If you fix your bed, you don't get paid because oh, you slept on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So if there are any other stuff that we ask them to yeah. do, like for example, uh, probably walk the dog, or if not, man, wash the car. Or if, right now they're they're of age, so my daughter edits some material, my son edits my videos, so that they get paid <laughs> by, by doing that. Because anyway, I pay an outsider. I pay yeah. also. I contract someone yes. to do it since they can do it. I treat them as one of my staff and employees so they get paid. Uh, what we're basically teaching is teaching them the value of money and hard work. Mm-hmm. So they know, like for example, uh, I want to buy this. And then one more principle, if they want to buy anything, we allow them to buy anything as long as we share it 50-50. 50% okay. from you, 50% per- from us. Mm-hmm. You want to another buy another pair of shoe, you want to buy another pair of clothes, that's fine, but we will provide all the needs for you. But if we want extra you pay 50%. Yes. And the exciting thing is we have a motivation. Whatever you save in a year, we'll double it at the end of at the end year. Of the year. Wow. Yes. Ah. Yeah. That's my motivation. So within the year, they'll make a lot of ideas. How can I earn money? So yeah. That, you know, or how can I save money? So that they will That's be... Smart have that kind of motivation that at the end of the year. This is what I... And it's gonna think. double. Yes, yeah. and the it's more gonna you double. Save. And not only that, we also teach them how to give what they have. Like, for example, um, during birthdays, mm-hmm. definitely you will receive a yeah. lot of gifts. So, what we try to teach them is choose like at least three to five best gifts that you really like. Kasi, di, di ba, you know, Andy and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. lahat malalaro nila mm-hmm. yun. Totoo. So, at, at that time, kung makapili na sila, yung mga ibang natira, we try to let them choose who are the people that they can they give want, that toys. Yeah, they can or, bless. How old? How old did you start introducing this concept to them of? For me, money and uh, giving. Uh, first, money and then giving mm-hmm. uh, on her part. Uh, at money, uh, we started to train them when they know already how to buy things. Mm-hmm. Like for example, I want this. I want that. That things can be bought. Yes. You know, okay. okay. There's a currency. That's okay. true. Because you know our kids are very very ano eh bright, di ba? Yeah, yeah, they are. Yes. They're they smart. Are. So, ka nilang bumibili mm-hmm. and you know it makes you feel good having stuff. Mhm. ba? The goal is you have to be careful on how that kind of attitude. Again, we model it first. Yeah, they have to see it. I always tell people values are not taught but they are caught. caught. They're caught. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. I was just having this conversation with somebody <laughs> yesterday. Values are caught, not taught. Not yeah. Taught. Nice. Um, it's 1028, Chinky and uh, Novi Tan. They're with us today. If you have any questions, you can call us up, 86310899. We're also online. It's at the Mother Show PH um, for any money pa lang tayo, guys. So, lapa tayo yes. sa marriage. <laughs> sa marriage, <laughs> sa marriage part. <laughs> money pa lang to. Magic, hello. Hello. Hi, who's this? I'm Jello. Jello, what can hey. we do for you? Yes, um, I have this concern. Uh, may big bag- eh, misasabi lang ang situation namin ng asawa ko. Mm-hmm. Kasi, um, I am a general manager of a, ano, um, family business. Mm-hmm. So, corporation siya, pero family owned siya. Um, yung sweldo ko, galing sa father ko who finances the company, yung mga sa, sa operations. Ngayon, um, I bought a pickup sa para sa amin ng asawa ko. Mm-hmm. And then, nakialam ang mother ko. Mm. So, to what extent ba may pakialam ang parents? Kasi in the first place, um, computed naman yung uh, pa, yung finances ng pickup and everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oo. Okay. That's a good question. So, to what extent? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's one of the chapter that we talked about on chapter 6. Mm-hmm. Bahay ni Mr. Bahay ni Mrs. Okay. Mm. O, makikitira ka ba o bubukod ka? So, it's really so hard. Mm. That's it, it's, it's a tricky, really, question. It's really, tricky, you know, in terms of uh, should I live with my parents? I'm not saying that this uh, that you're living with your parents. Probably, unfortunate, but you work for your parents. Yes, yes, I do. It's the same thing? Is it the same thing? Because they can see your finances. Everyday life. Yeah, okay. they can see your everyday life. So, chances are that's the only challenge is they can make some comments So on how you spend your money. So it's really difficult. It's really a sticky and a tricky situation. It is. So that's the reason why you need to communicate with your number one spouse first, and then number two, communicate with your with your parents. As okay. much as I know, 
in a very respectful way that I know you're concerned about us, you're concerned about our financial situation, but can you please give us uh, the freedom to choose? And if ever we make a mistake, we will take full responsibility. We will not be a burden to you. Probably their concern is once you make a mistake, you cannot anymore pay the monthly. You will go uh, go to them and ask for money. Probably that's their concern. Mm. Ah, okay. So you just need to understand from their perspective. Oh, uh, Novi? You know, because the goal okay. is... What's his name? Jello. Jello. Jello, no. The goal is how do you preserve the relationship? It's really hard to to you know work to your parents but at the end of the day you have also to gauge you and your wife you have to evaluate do um that work that you're doing to your family do you like what you're doing is that uh, yes, is that yes, your forte is that what mm-hmm. you like mm-hmm. okay. mm-hmm. so kasi you cannot hindi mo kasi basta may iwasan yun eh. mm-hmm. like our parents we cannot change them mm-hmm. we cannot really change them but we can change ourselves mm-hmm. so you have to evaluate. If I continue doing this and working under my parents, will it add value and have a greater relationship with them if mm-hmm. I continue this? Mm-hmm. So something mm-hmm. like that to think mm-hmm. about. Yes. And then you pray about it then. Exactly. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, kasi yan yung last part. Actually, that's a very wise, ano, uh, because if it's going to strain the relationship, yeah. kung talagang, ano, it's a matter of choice already of probably relationship and money. And then if there's always the two, uh, I, Hands down, I always choose relationship rather than money. Wow. Okay. Yeah, because it it's it takes a lot of years to build relationship, mm-hmm. but it only takes a few seconds to break it. Okay. So, but but money you can earn anywhere, yeah. but relationship you cannot just gain it anywhere. That's true. That's true. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thanks, Jello. Sure, Thanks, Jello. Jello. God bless, Jello. Thank you. God bless. I'm so glad, Novi, that you brought that up about relationships because this is something that people overlook and this is why we have family feuds. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. I, I was talking to... I have one brother. I have a younger brother and I was talking to him. I was telling him, how kaya do siblings get so rotten and turn against themselves in the future when they're old now when it comes to money when mm. it comes to land mm. when it comes to yeah. simple inheritance things. yeah when you when your siblings your brothers your blood mm-hmm. how how do you turn away from that yeah because Diba? of because of greed and selfish selfishness <laughs> Because all of us, yeah, all of us, we have greed in our lives. Iba iba na level. May mga iba greed one, greed two, greed three. Depende ko ano greed mo. Oh, Jinky. Enter- still the entertainer. I like that. Nobody wants to listen to a boring person. Yeah, that's true. No, so, but everything you've been saying so far, yeah, it makes makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. But, so, very important that we just need to understand. Again, it goes back to the values. Uh, what do you value more? Mm-hmm. Do you value more money mm-hmm. or do you value more relationship? And number two, it's a sense of unfairness. Sometimes you feel it's unfair. It's not fair. Why is he getting more? Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been working for the company for so long. Why is his share bigger than mine? Wow. So, if you feel that uh, it's unfair, in reality, is life is really not fair. Oh. You cannot, we cannot go through life and we cannot succeed through life because uh, life needs to treat us fairly. Mm-mm. As a matter of fact, most of the people who succeeded in life were treated unfairly. That's the reason mm-hmm. why they, they rise up to the occasion. They rose up to the occasion. That's the reason why they're successful. I, I hear you. Based yeah. on your you know, faucet story, yes. Kanina, mm. I, I know where this is all coming from. Yeah, Kanina. that's the reason why I always tell people, if you're going through tri- challenges, trials right now, you're going through a pain process, always remember, these are vitamins for success. Yes. These are things that you can look back on, glean on, and be thankful that mm. you went through this. That's the reason why you become a better person. Mm. You did not become a bitter person. Nice. Very well yes. said, Mr. Chinky Tan. It is 10.34 <sighs> on the clock. We're due for a song break so that we can all take a breather and like absorb so yes, everything. And you know what? If you guys want to go back to this episode, yeah. it's going to still be live on YouTube That's right. and Facebook. And share the link if you guys have OFW friends, <laughs> friends yeah. or you know, friends that you know need advice. This mm-hmm. is actually like a good episode for you guys to share. That's right. So again, it's facebook.com slash the mother show PHC. Chinky is also streaming live. Mm-hmm. Uh, just in case you want to catch that. What is the link again, Chinky? Uh, my link is Chinky Tan. Facebook, Chinky Tan. Uh, I always tell people, you can anyone can write a book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, how, uh, to prove it, can you write a word? Mm. <laughs> can you write or a, a sentence? sentence? <laughs> can you write a paragraph? 
Yeah. So if you can write a word, a sentence, a paragraph, you can write the book. Okay. Because one uh, several paragraphs can create one chapter, and then from one chapter you go to two chapters. Mm-hmm. So likewise, can you speak a word? Yes, you can say yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So <laughs> from one word to one sentence, from one sentence. Is this in sentence, your talks? Is this what you do? Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, so one paragraph from one paragraph, so you can create your own channel. Mm. It's just a matter of uh, it's a skill that you learn. Mm-hmm. It's getting in front of your camera yes. and just talking, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Just like you right now on the radio. Uh, yes. Yes. We yes. don't see the people, but again, it's an effort to reach out to get the attention of your audience. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so um, so you said <laughs> anybody and and you're encouraging people to create content yes. and to post it online. Yeah, because uh, if you look, uh, some people say YouTube is so saturated already in mm-hmm. terms of there are so many creators. Mm-hmm. But if I ask you right now, can you name me one person who does movie uh, uh, movie what uh, on YouTube? Yeah, no, yeah, not movie uh, in YouTube, but movie uh, critics. Ah, uh, yeah. No one does it uh-huh. here in the Philippines. Noted. Yes. Mommy, <laughs> 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 yeah. nobody so, does that here. N- nobody does. So there's a lot. Oh. Probably we know some people. Some like for example, Will Dasovich, mm. yeah. one of the one of the, the uh, top ones. The, yeah, the top ones and the pioneers in terms of, of vlogging. YouTube, yeah. And uh, recently, um, probably because of uh, uh, the Gonzaga. See. Si, yes, Kathy. Yes, Tony. Uh, Tony also. Yeah, not, in. yeah, the, but the other sister, see, si, ano, Alex. Alex. Alex, yeah, si Alex Kathy. Gonzaga, oh, and then see si Lloyd Cadena. Mm. But mm-hmm. actually, they're just a handful. But most of them are. There's still a lot of space in terms of creators in yeah. YouTube. And the beauty about this, you don't need a network, you don't need a channel, yeah. you don't need to pay airtime. Yeah, it's for free. So all you need to do is just cr- find a creative uh, content, creative content. And this is what you're you're talking about, Alfred, the niche. Yeah, the niche that you want to really yeah. address, the people that you really want to help. And I started my YouTube channel again to reach out to the OFWs, Mm-mm. to help them with their personal finance. During the time when we started, there's no monetization. We did not do it for money. Mm-mm. We do it because for a calling, for a purpose. But the good thing is, right now, um, YouTube is paying some money to pay for the production costs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because my production team, I have at least right now for YouTube alone, uh, around seven people. Seven? Yeah, seven people to do what I'm doing right now because we create do uh, we create daily uploads. I have three video editors. I have one YouTube manager. I have one two that does, does, does my graphics for the thumbnails. Yes. So if you total every, everyone in the team, that's around seven people. But that's great because you mentioned you started without thinking about monetizing it. This was all just for helping OFWs. Definitely. I always tell people, you start again with something that you love. You do it with your passion. Mm. And then you turn your passion to become a mission. And once you help other people, the money then will follow. It's a bonus. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Just help enough other people to get what they want and you will also get what you want in life. That's that. nice. I it, yeah, bookmark yeah. bookmark that. Bookmark. It's, it's ten fifty. <laughs> ten fifty is the time. Anne Sapinoso says watching all the way from LA. Oh hello Anne. Love you, Kuya and Ate. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Janice. Greed one, greed two, greed three. Greed two. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I have actually a question. I so think I go, once go, go. Okay, for example, you're married already. Uh, what's your suggestion when it comes to um um, having your own bank account, combining bank accounts, do you have any advice to that? Or the buffer sharing you, money. sharing your money? How do you how do you start? Yeah, before answering that question, I just like to have a shout out to Carlo Ople. Hello. Hi. Carlo Ople is also one of the YouTube creators. Yes, you know he, he my yeah. husband is a huge fan of Carlo Ople. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he, GP watches you every single day. Yes. Wow. Yeah, they ha- yeah. He he uploads daily. Yes. He, yeah. yes. So Carlo, shout out to Carlo. <laughs> Follow Carlo Ople if you love sneakers at the same time if you love gadgets. So, Mahal, can you answer that question? Yeah. Well, you know, it, it depends really on a couple Uh-oh. how you're going to go about. But in my experience, me and Chinky, we, because... In marriage, the foundation is trust. Mm -hmm. So, if you trust one another, it is more easier if your bank account is together. Okay. Okay. But, you know, I I respect people who 
uh, who wants their bank account to be separated. But my question is, why? Why do you want it to be separated? Mm-hmm. Where is it coming from? Mm-mm. Because for me, with money, there, there, it needed to be have um, transparency. Okay. In everything on how you spend, and definitely, if I think Chinky will be able to expound this later, that um, the goal is there's power of agreement. So yes. You need to agree first. So it's a case-to-case basis. Yeah. It doesn't really matter for me uh, if you want to keep it separate or uh, joined uh, as long as there's, again, transparency. Uh-huh. You want to be honest with one another. Each one should know already how much coming in, how much is going out. It's a principle of agreement. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, you cannot keep secrets really from one another. Because again, the foundation of a relationship is trust. Mm-hmm. Uh, my question always to people, especially when we counsel people, is would you go into business with someone you don't trust? Yeah. No. No. But how come you married someone you cannot trust? Oh. That's true. <laughs> if you keep money secrets, <laughs> man. So that's why it's clear for us before we get married about that, that bank account. Okay. Because there's a lot of concept. You Sometimes it's sad to say, and then we explain that in that book. Sometimes, um, well, well-meaning parents will be able that, Oh, you earn your own money, ah, so you keep that. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there's diba? If something oh. happens in the future, something at happens, least... May safety net, ka oh, ganyan, oh, pero you have your own savings. That's not the spirit of a good marriage, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Both of you need to trust one another yeah. and protect one another. So mm. no matter what, sometimes it will be exposed re- with regards with money. Yeah. Oh, it will expose the attitude that you have. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Sana madami na tamaan dito. <laughs> Ay, nako. Um, uh, okay. So, saying what's up to... Wait, sorry. Elado, who's who's uh, tuned in via our live stream on facebook.com slash themothershowph. Okay, Thank hello, you very much. Avic. I'm sorry. Someone from Japan is watching us. Oh, nice. Wow. Listening to us. Yeah, Avic Tatlong Hari. Yes, from Japan. Hey, Avic. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank you. Again, we have Chinky Tan and Novi Tan. So if you guys have any questions about ito money, na, marriage, mm. <laughs> this is the time. Because we were talking about um, living with your in-laws, diba? Yes. Or even providing for the family. Yes. Um, like if your parents. Because my, diba parang... What do you call it? My, I know, my utang na loob ka sa parents mo. So sometimes, what happens in the culture of the Philippines is that, parang some people, um, since since I paid for your tuition fee and you lived with me, it's your turn to take care of me. <laughs> ah, diba? Ganon. Yeah, yeah, that's really challenging. Are there? Are, is that is that a that's a culture thing, right? Yeah, yeah it's a cultural thing. Culture it's thing. A culture no, it's thing. not the, actually. It's uh, <laughs> we want to take really good care of, of our, our parents, parents yeah. because it's good. However. I hope that it will not become an obligation because it becomes an, an obligation, obligation becomes a burden already to the next generation. Mm. So I always tell people, okay, um, uh, for me, uh, we want that to stop from yeah. our end, from our line, that we always tell our kids, okay, we want to empower you, we want to educate you. Once you're educated, you're on, own, you're on your own, you're independent, we will save money for ourselves so that you don't have to worry for us. Yeah. Uh, once we age. Yeah. So I hope that it will be passed on the next generation that mm-hmm. they will also become independent from their next generation. Because if you depend so much on the next generation, mm-hmm. they will also be having financial challenges and they will also depend on the next generation. Oh. So instead of becoming a blessing, it becomes a burden. Yes. Yeah. And like Novi was saying kanina, it's better for you to like be happy giving back mm-hmm. right, yeah. than making it a burden. Yeah, that's why before we got married, Talagang we talk to our both of our parents because both of us mm, are breadwinners. Eh? Yes. Okay. We talk yeah. to them na yeah we are clear that um, you needed money and stuff like that. But we really told them that the priority is not them. Okay? Mm-hmm. The priority mm-hmm. is coming dalawa ni Chinky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we but in a nice way. In a nice way. In a very respectful way. Then <laughs> Chinky and I also made a practical setup, not to really. Like for example, yung sinasabi kanina ni Andy about bank accounts. We have different types of bank accounts. We have savings. And what we have, we also have benevolence funds. Yes. Okay. So something that, kasi hindi mo may iwasan talaga, no? mm. Andy and Ricky, na people will ask for money, especially relatives and in-laws. So we make sure that we also save for them. Mm. So from our savings, a percent for there, we put it in our benevolence fund. So one day, if they ask money, hospital bills, blah, 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 
Meron. Okay. Yeah, it's a given. Yeah. And it's not yeah. for your savings. It's yeah. not for yeah. your joint. It will not hurt. It's a benevolence. Yeah, yes. yeah. And then definitely, I will tell people, uh, money is indeed very relative. Because the more money you have, the more relatives you have. <laughs> <laughs> no money, no relatives. I wonder why. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Pero, if you, for example, how would you divide, like, the money that you earn in a month, mm-hmm. right? how much goes to your savings or your benevolent fund or your your wants? Mm-hmm. In, yeah, okay, in the tan household, in, in your Uh-oh. family, in your household, what is it? What is the breakdown? Uh, probably I start when I was still single. Single, okay. I have a different formula and then when I got married, I have a Iba different na. formula. Oh, sige. Pang single. Yeah, but <laughs> as I state this, it doesn't really say that I do this, you should follow. Because yeah. it's different, different stroke. Yeah, different for different people. Oh, sige, sige. My, when I was still single, it's 50, 25, 25. 50% savings, 25% investment for business, 25% for spending. Mm-hmm. So okay. when, when I earned, let's say, a thousand pesos, five hundred mm-hmm. goes to savings, two hundred fifty goes to business, and two hundred fifty can spend. If I want to spend one thousand, I have to earn four thousand pesos. Mm. Two thousand savings, one thousand for business, one thousand I can spend. If my current lifestyle is a hundred, I have to earn four hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand savings, one hundred thousand for business, one hundred thousand I can spend. Mm-hmm. So the principle behind this is the more I, the more I spend, the more I. Earn. And the, the more I spend, the more I save. My default and priority is not the spending part, yeah. but the saving part. It's the saving part. part. So that was when I was still single. But when we got married, it changed. It became 10, 10, 30, 50. 50 goes to Novi. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you're right. I like that. Novi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's okay. the, so what's the breakdown? Yeah, 10%, uh, we agree as a couple to return... 10% back to God mm-hmm. because we do mm-hmm. believe and acknowledge that everything that we everything that we have yeah. comes from him. Mm-hmm. 10% is benevolence mm-hmm. to help. 30% savings and 50% we spend. Oh. Okay. okay. Why why does the formula change like that when you're married? It doesn't really matter uh, as I I always tell people the the percentage doesn't really matter. Yeah. What really matters if is you agree. you agree at the same time you save a specific amount. Okay. Some people say what's the best for 10 20 70 10 Uh-oh. 50. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the important thing again is uh, you agree what are your priorities in your life because we value Number one, our relationship with God. We mm-hmm. believe that we have to b- give back to mm-hmm. Him mm-hmm. because we acknowledge that He's our partner. Yeah. And once you have a partner, you you, you get 50%, mm-hmm. right? As a partner. Mm-hmm. But God is so good, He never asked for 50. He only he asked, asked for, for 10. 10. He only asked for so 10. So it's yeah. the best partner that you can find. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That, that's not an issue for us. And then another 10%, we set it aside for helping other people. 30%, again, savings for investment and 50 for spending. Imagine if everybody had a benevolence fund. Yeah. 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 Everybody, everybody would be happy to yes, help. Too. Definitely. Yeah. We, it's not considered in your... No. Hindi siya... In your percentage of earning. You no. don't siphon out from any... Yeah. Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. It's It really feels good it's to, re- give. Yeah. to give. To give. To help. Mm-hmm. So why are you uh, why are you prevented to give? Because I have only less. Probably you have fifty pesos. You say I only have have fifty pesos. But if you give fifty pesos to a beggar, that will really extend their yeah. life for a day. Mm-hmm. It may be little for you, but it may be big and huge for someone. Mm-hmm. So don't ever think that you cannot really make an impact on other people's lives, no matter how small it may be. Oh, that's deep. Wow. What ten percent then? <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's 11 yes. one. Um, we we have a uh, Mr. and Mrs. Chink positive saying hi to Alvin, who says hi. Uh, definitely super helpful to Filipino families. You're a blessing to all of us, he says. Mm-hmm. Thank you for uh, Thank tuning you. in uh, to Ina Ferrer. Says hi, yeah, Ina. Ina. Angel Rivero as well, listening all the way from Sydney, Australia. Maricel, hi to Mr. Chinky and Novitan. Hi. Uh, thank you very much uh, for tuning in via the live stream. You can share this page, by the way, to mm-hmm. all of your friends who think they might benefit from this conversation. Uh, we're talking all about uh, money and how to make more of it. Yeah, That's shout out it. lang kay Rowena Clave, kay Margos Adri, kay Saaveda Chris, kay Crystal, at the same time, Glenda Magtoto. Hello, uh, Glenda. <laughs> yeah, Zell and Ramon Perez, thank you very much for tuning in. 
Thank you. It is 11.01 um, on the clock. Same was up to Ken Karotz, who said, my husband should do nin. <laughs> yes. Yes. Should Actually, you should send the link to your husband uh, tonight. Yeah. Okay, yeah. listen to this, okay? I will give you me time. 50% to the wife. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it there. Um, okay, so, you know, off air, we were talking uh, to Novi, and she homeschooled their three children. So, all three of them have gone through the Novitan School. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And we're going to talk more about that in just a little bit. But again, send in any questions that you might have, please. Yes, go ahead. um, Facebook.com slash Magic89.9. And then we are also live on The Mother Show. It's a Mother Show PH. So, if you guys have... Ah, here pala. Somebody has a question. Sorry. (laughs) Uh, Very interesting. Okay, so, Sabini Lovelin... Um, Savinia, can you share the percentage again for married couples? And also, does I guess this also goes for somebody who also messaged. Um, does like for example, the breadwinner is the husband, right? Yeah. And the wife is a homemaker. So is there like um, a sueldo or like um, an amount that the allowance. wife uh, an allowance for the wife? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, me and my wife, we agreed uh, that uh, she needs to have a budget for improvement and beautification process. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so every month, we agree that there's a portion, certain. a certain amount of her allowance that she can use for a day. Yeah, mm-hmm. if I want to use it for a day or, or for a month. For a month. Or I don't like it to use it. Yes. No. After that, after she use it, if she use it for okay. a day, tapos na. Uh-huh. Wala nang hingian. Wala na. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. And likewise, on my end, I also have a certain budget. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, I don't use my budget. Yeah. <laughs> because you're chinky tan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah That's how it is. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there are times that uh, I when it, when it comes buying stuff, like for example, shoes, I have always threshold. Mm-hmm. I will not buy a shoe more than 2,000 pesos. No way. Yeah. I won't, I won't do that. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I don't really? do that. And yeah. for me, it's I don't use shoes as a fashion. I use it as a function. Can I see what shoes yeah. you're wearing? <laughs> Look, it's nice, huh? It's very nice. Oh, wow, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, okay. it's one thousand nine hundred pesos. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, almost, really almost too almost expensive. Too expensive. For you. Yes. So wow. no, okay. it's just it's just me. Uh, so, <laughs> but at times when we help people. When we help people, it's more than that. It's really, you know, I'm really generous towards others. I get it. But I just find it, uh, for me, uh, when I buy shirts, I only buy three colors. Gray, white, and black. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I was just about to say, yeah, there's like that, it's all black. It's yeah. very neutral. It's yeah. just simple. Yeah, it's keep it keep it simple. Yeah. I, I like the style of Steve Jobs. I like the st- <laughs> style of Mark Zuckerberg. Mm-hmm. Yes. <coughs> yeah. Just that simple. Just simple, yeah. Nothing. nothing yeah, because there are more cheap. things in life that you should think of rather than choosing clothes and spending at least one and a half hour. Wow! Your hair. <laughs> Parang <laughs> may ano ah? May hugot konti ah? Sorry, one and a half hours. Yeah, just to change. Uh, okay, does this look nice on me? Yes, I guess everything that. looks nice on you. <laughs> and then, mommy, palit na naman, de ba? Parang kung ano madampot ko yun na yun, de ba? Because there are more important things in life. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's part of the beauty. I know, yeah, I know. I'm not questioning yeah. that, but for me, I'm for you, for yeah. you. Yeah. But I honor Chinky for that because he honors my space. And yeah, you know, that's big. Yeah, yeah. that's big. That's big. Like for example, Tato Joaquin said, niya from Antipolo, diba? happy wife, happy life." Yeah. Yes. Uh, can I give you a secret for over 20 years of marriage? Okay, we, yes. we never fought about money. Oh. Okay. okay. For 20 years, we never fought about money. Because we made an agreement before we got married that uh, I make men makes the major decisions in life, and women makes the minor decisions in life. Mm-hmm. That's the reason for over twenty years we never made any major, all minor. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing major. Uh, Everything is minor. Buying a car that's minor. <laughs> Traveling minor. Uh, having three kids minor. minor. Yeah, that's minor. Eleven oh six. Okay, before we pause for a break, um, uh, and before we get to, to family life, Chinky, what is your like luho? 
Do you have any? Oh, What is your like? Wala. <laughs> right now, actually, there, he says I'm going through an andropause situation. Andropause. Ah. No, he, she was, she was saying that. But honestly, for me, it's not because right now I collect paint. <laughs> I collect paintings. Okay. I collect uh, rare toys like uh-huh. bare bricks and uh, cos. Uh-huh. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing that, okay. it's not only because for the aesthetic part, but it's for an investment. Because mm. I, I'm a type of guy, I will never get bring out money unless there's a return. Mm-hmm. I will not buy anything because it's a dead asset. Mm-mm. So because I've uh, I've learned that you can also, instead of buying a property, property you make money per square meter. Yeah. But in painting, you can earn money per square inch. Oh, wow. mm. Property, you have to. It's a it's a physical space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but painting, you can bring it anywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So as a matter of fact, there are a lot of collectors which I knew from the past who used to buy a thirty thousand pesos worth of painting, but right now it's valued at least three million. Oh, yes. So smart. in 10 years time, in 10 years time. So where can you find an investment from 30,000 it becomes 3 million. <laughs> so these are the things that I'm learning. So that's yeah. the reason why I got into it. I, I really don't like painting, honestly. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not the type of a guy who likes painting. Yeah. <laughs> For me, that's it's a why. white wall. It's okay. I'm <laughs> fine. I'm telling him, this is not you, Mahal. This uh-huh. is yeah. not you. It's a stage in your life that you'll be able to you know, find it. But it's your also a, a long-term plan because yeah. someday when we know that when we're not here anymore on Earth, mm. our kids will be able to inherit those. Yeah. yeah. So it's not a stage. This is actually part of your this, plan. She's referring that it's a stage. <laughs> For me, it's not. <laughs> okay, you put your money in it's the bank. It's part of the plan. Yeah, you put, yeah. you put the money in the bank. It will not grow. It mm. will not grow. And then we don't need really so much cash flow right now because we have cash yeah. flow coming in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you put more money in the bank, it, it just doesn't really appreciate in value. Yeah. And you count the number of years and you'll be surprised. Like for example, I have a friend who invested in a property. Mm-hmm. In a property, in three years' time, it, beca- it becomes double. Mm-hmm. But if I have money three years and that's the value. And after three years, it evaluates in, uh, in, in value. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. And that's why you had to venture out. Yes, that's the reason paintings. why you need to learn how to, again, create multiple cash flow. Yes. And then you have to also create multiple investment in terms of, again, spreading yourself. Mm. Never Amen. put your eggs in one basket. So wise. So wise. <sighs> so wise. Got it's it. 11.09. Okay, one more call, <laughs> promise, before we pause for a break. Magic, hello? Hi. Hello, you're hello? on air. Hi. Yeah, may question lang ako. Who's this? Uh, Jayton. Jayton. Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, I just, I, 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 I'm driving right now and I, I just tuned in. Mm. Sabi ni Pinky, parang uh, um, kailangan mo mag-hatch sa beggar. Ganun. Kailangan mag? Uh, help, to, help sa mga beggar. Yeah, well, depends. Uh, ano yung question mo? Should we but, ano, well, yeah, tolerate? Ito lang yung, ito lang yung question ko kasi Uh, may mga situations like, ikunwari, I, ho- I only have 1,000 in my in my wallet. Mm. Kasi 1,000 peso bill siya. Mm. And comes the beggar mm. asking for for money. Mm. Parang wala akong mabigay kasi buo siyang 1,000. Eh, magpabarya ka muna. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 no, you know what we do as well? Nagigilty nagi- ako. Parang, ah. Kasi ako din, sure ako din, uh, mapagbigay din ako sa mga beggar. Pero mm. pag yung ganyan situation na parang wala akong mabigay sa kanya, Magigilty rin ako. Hindi, okay lang. Eh, syempre, magrabe ka naman. Isang libo rin yun, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yun nga, di ba? Oh, yun, yun I won't. Question, uh, parang... Pero ito, uh, uh, again, what's your name again? Jada. Jason. Oh, Jason. Jason, minsan, yeah. minsan, uh, ah, minsan, minsan lang nangyayari. I don't give really that ma- that big of an amount kung wala akong bariya. But mm. there are certain instances that God will speak to you and you will supernaturally give something to someone. Kaya nga, you have to be sensitive when you want to give. Are you giving because you just want to feel good? Ako, when I give, because I hear and I listen to what God is telling me during that yeah, time. Yeah, I understand. Nagigets mo? Yeah, so, I get oh, kunyari, nakikita ko, oh, sige, 50 pesos, okay na yan. 20 pesos, okay na yan. Isang libo, bibigyan kita. <laughs> Hindi. Pero there are instances na talagang sabi ko, ibang klase to. Mm-hmm. I just feel so, something different about this. No? Kunyari, whatever I have in my pocket, I reach out and I give everything. 
That sometimes so, I do that. Depends, depends. Depende, depende o oh, hindi yeah. parati. There's no rule of thumb. Yeah, to add to that, yeah. because we know na sometimes like that, I specifically intentionally buy mga ano mga pagkain. I put it like yeah, crackers mag, mag, and put it in my oh, van. Oh, oh, I'm always prepared kung wala talaga akong barya. Pero yun lang kasi hindi naman din ako na prepare na makakita ko on the street uh, ng mga beggars. Yeah. Like, so wala naman akong dalang like food or whatever yeah. to give. Parang yun lang. Talagang yung parang option lang talaga is money. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, kapag walang barya, so, mm-hmm. nakakarap. I, I feel bad din kung hindi ako nakakatulong parang gano'n. Okay lang, okay lang. Don't feel guilty. Ang yeah. importante naman is uh, God looks at our heart naman. Eh, yes. Mm. And so you have a good heart. Lang, magpapabaryo na lang muna ako. Para. Yeah, papabaryo ka muna. <laughs> That's the simplest way. Para may ako. Uh, the answer. Oy, drive safely ha. Drive safely. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy, Thank enjoy. You. Thank you. It's 11.12. Um, si Arvin says, Sir C, is it safe to say that jewelry is a good investment? As long as you're not attached to it. Oh. Because again, the purpose of investment is something that you purchase with an intent to resell and profit at a higher price. Ako, I'm not attached to any, any. Because I, uh, that was the question that was, uh, that was asked by my son last night. Okay, uh, Okay. Uh, we were discussing, okay, uh, what your, what's your plans with all these things that you're buying? Uh, our, my plan is to just to give it to you, probably in the future. Sorry, your son asked you this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and uh, we had a healthy discussion last night, and we plan to give this to you. And that's the reason why I want to teach you, train you on how to price this, uh, these paintings and uh, these things that we're collecting. And, okay. And then he said, uh, shouldn't we keep it also and we don't sell it? Mm. No. Uh, because, uh, the reason why we bought this is because it's for investment. We want to resell at a higher price. Mm-hmm. So, And I asked him, how would you know? How will you know that if you are still attached to the... Uh, how will you know if the uh, material possession owns you rather than you owning the oh material possession? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, uh, well, uh, he cannot really answer it. Mm. And I told him, it's so simple. If you cannot sell it, if you cannot give it away, it owns you. But if you can sell it and if you can give it away, you own it. Mm. So I always tell people, you cannot be... Physical. Yeah, because we came into this world with nothing. We will depart from this world mm-hmm. from nothing. So you cannot say, ah, I want to buy this and I, I want to keep it. Okay, if you want to keep it, why did you buy it in the first place? Because it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's no, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I the point you. is, that what's your main goal and objective? Uh, definitely, it's clear to me. It's, it's an investment. Yeah. yeah. For the time being, it's there. Okay, but probably in the near future, if we need it, we have just to sell it. Yeah. For emergency purposes. Yeah. That's one of the purpose. We can say, don't sell it. And what if you have hospitalization bills to pay? We can't sell it. We should sell it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's because that's the main purpose of why you got it exactly. in the first place. Exactly. Ah, oh, so many learnings. It's 11.14. <sighs> and just like that, it's already like we're 45 minutes away I from know. closing the show. We have the live stream. So many questions coming in as well. Yes. My mom says hi, by the way. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Rose. Hello, Rose. <laughs> Yeah, they're very they're good they're good friends actually with my mom. And my mom was the one who said, "You should, you get, should you yes. get a Novi." I was like, "Yes." Yeah, right, right. Yes. It was a great idea. Great idea. So, it's 11:24 again. We still have time to ask them uh, your questions in case you have any. So, before we hit the break, uh Novi, homeschool. Yeah. You were a music teacher, so you have some background in teaching. Yeah. How was that like? Well, it's wow. not an easy decision later. Okay. So, this one is a journey in such a way that I didn't we didn't plan for it. But one day when my middle child, which is my only boy, mm-hmm. was like uh in his I think he was five years old mm-hmm. and we enrolled him in a progressive school mm-hmm. and it was a very good school. But the thing is, um they have this uh like rules there or not rules but it's like Regular, for example, 100%, there are like 90% regular kids, but 10%, they streamline special kids. Okay. So, at, on his first year, it was really good. But the thing is, on, her, on his second year, I, I find out that every time my, uh, my son goes home, he's, he's crying. And I check him out, what happened? Mm-hmm. And then he said, 
Mom, you know, there was this girl who's keep on pinching me. Okay. And then I saw a lot of bruises in oh, his, wow. yeah, his yeah. arm. Okay. In his arms. And then he cried, Mom, can you just teach me at home? Oh. So that's the... That's like the light there. At first, I was, huh, me teaching you at home? Where did he get the idea that you could teach him at home? Because it does, may, maybe he doesn't feel safe anymore in the school. So he, <gasps> he just like me to teach him. Very vocal, ah. Yeah. Like yeah. he knew what he wants. Yeah, okay. Are always galing, vocal. galing. Okay. But anyway, at that time, homeschooling is not that popular. Not like now. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, everybody wants to do homeschool. But I believe that homeschooling is not for everyone. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's a trend. It doesn't mean everybody's doing around you. You have to do it. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Don't Mm-mm. make that as a reason. Mm-mm. Because no matter what, it's really a personal decision. Yeah. It's like, uh, first, when you got married, that's one of the major decisions. Mm-hmm. But this is like a second major decision. Because it you have after to gauge, marriage. Yeah, yeah. Talaga? You have okay. to gauge it that uh, it's not easy because maybe you, you're, you're not used to that. Because you're gonna... S- spending time with your kids 24 hours a day. Yes. And then yeah. beyond. And beyond. <laughs> and beyond. Isn't it? And sometimes, like parents, like moms, needs more space, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. To be able to, you know, buelo at the same time. Think. So, yeah. Mm. Think. But on our end at that time, I think it's like a um, revelation for us. And Chinky's lifestyle at that time, he was like averaging... Because I've been homeschooling for 14 years. I think 14 years ago, he's averaging for about 150 talks at that time. Okay. Okay. So, Oof. we want to spend more time with him. And he keeps on traveling. Mm. So, that's also an idea for us. And it goes along with our lifestyle. So, that we won't be able to, you know, in an instu- in institutionalized school. You can't just take leave. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to, you know, absences. There's a requirement. Mm-hmm. You have to talk to the principal. You have to talk to the teacher. In homeschooling, it's not like that. You can just go anywhere. Yeah, personalized. You can go anywhere you want. And you were telling me um, that you homeschooled your children in in different times of their lives, diba? Yeah, yeah. You really have to gauge from the child. Yes, yes. So it's like timing. That's why uh, my only ch- uh, my only boy, uh, I started with him like five years old, and my eldest daughter I started with her grade three. Mm-hmm. But my youngest daughter. All throughout, because she really wanted to do homeschool. So. Wow, wow! And then I asked you about what are the factors to consider? Like, how do you gauge if your if your child is fit for homeschool or or not? Both of you are not homeschooled, right, Chinky? No, and, no. no. Where did Where did you go to school, Chinky? Uh, I went to a Chinese school, but I never fi- finished my formal schooling. Okay, and yeah. and you know me. I, I graduated from USD. Okay, yeah. Yeah, bachelor uh, of music. So you're both not, you don't have that homeschool background. No, no nothing. No, no, no. And you don't have your to have a homeschool background mm-hmm. to homeschool your kids, definitely, right? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, oh wait, wait, I remember. When I was in high school, I got sick. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So there was a season that I have to study at home. Okay. So maybe we call that before home education, not homeschooling. Mm. At that time, that DepEd was um, giving at the time. Home education. Home education. Ah, galing. Yeah. And this, I think, complements what you preach as, you know, a financial guru, mm-hmm. right? Na, and anything you invest in. And it doesn't have to be money. It yes. can be time. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? And this is something that I think is... Yeah. Because we really want to spend more time with each other. And yeah. We believe that they were saying that, you know, homeschooling, socialization, issue yeah. Uh-huh. All oh, the diba? time, yeah. But we realize... As we learn through the years, it's not an issue because I think the first and foremost priority of a stability of relationship is the family. The family, your parent, parent-child relationship. Because I believe if that is stabilized, it's easier for you to be able to let your kids go to you know the battle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they know they're secure with your relationship with you as a parent. Yeah, and this is how you guys parent yes. as well. Mm-hmm. That's how we do it. Yeah. So that is their version of, yeah, of parenting. So you you need to have a vision and how mm-hmm. do you want because not every family can do this. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You need to have a vision. Why do you want to do homeschool? Why what what is your values? What is your mission? Mm-mm. Like for us, we have uh, 
we did our mission and vision as a family. Mm-hmm. I still remember. They're so cute, no? They're I so like that. Mission and vision for the family. family. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like Reyes, Reyes. Uh-uh. What do you stand for? What, uh-uh. do you be- what are your beliefs? What do you stand for? Yeah, we stand for we honor God and honor others. Yeah, yeah. That's how we stand for. So how that's about so nice. you? What is your message? So yeah. we go about on that end. Mm. So that's a... Sometimes kids would like to compare themselves with others when they're mm. still small. Yeah. Oh, why are they doing that? Why do they have that uh, stuff and we don't have? Mm. Is that what we believe in? Is that a need? Is that a want? Oh, you bring them so back. So you go back to what yeah. you agreed upon, mm-hmm. uh, your it's values nice. as a family. Mm-hmm. Galing. So it's all about communication. You yeah. guys, as the leader of the family, you have to be solid. Yes. As a team. Yeah, but yes. we're not mm-hmm. perfect, ha? Huh? We're definitely huh? not what? perfect. What? Definitely. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madami okay. yung kaming pinagdaanan. Yeah, but we, yeah. we made a lot of mistakes also. But, yun nga eh, the beauty of what God has taught us to do homeschooling, even though it's messy, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's okay to be messy sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not in terms of attitude and yeah. principles, blah, blah, blah. But the goal is, how do you restore yourself? Or is the family a safe haven for mm-hmm. correction? Is the family a, a safe, safe haven, haven for, for correction? correction? Is it a That's net nice. for you or yeah. is it condemning? Yeah. Oh, so wow. you have to gauge that. You mm-hmm. have to evaluate. Because when I homeschool, I always ask my kids, do you still want to homeschool? Every year I ask them. Yeah. They evaluate me as well. Okay. Galing! So Galing! Do you still want That's homeschool? That's nice. It is nice. <laughs> it's, it's very nice to hear that. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Thank for sharing. So one last caller? One last yeah. one. Six, uh, eight, six, three, one, zero, eight, nine, nine. Magic, uh, hello? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. What's up? You're Hi. on air. Who's this? Hello. Hi. Who's this? Uh, Kathy. Kathy, welcome to the show. Hi. Um, I just want to ask if um insurance are good investment. Whoa. We were just talking about this off air, Chinky. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, insurance. Yes. Uh, we need insurance as protection. Uh, the that primary goal is for protection. When you say protection, you protect the breadwinner. When you want to insure someone, you protect always the breadwinner because the breadwinner is the one that brings home the money that the family needs. Mm -hmm. So you don't protect the dependents as much as possible. If you have extra money, that's no problem. But if your money is kind of limited, you don't protect dependents because the dependents, your kids, will outlive you. It's not because they're not valuable, but uh, chances are it's the parents who will leave first before the kids. So make sure you protect the breadwinner. The second thing, is it an investment? Yes, especially right now, we have what we call as VUL, Variable Universal Life. Mm -hmm. It has an insurance. At the same time, it has a mutual fund component that allows you to earn interest higher compared to the bank. And the mutual fund itself in in the near future will pay for the insurance itself. So you stop paying at a certain period of time. So if you ask me, is this a good investment? Yes and no. Yes, because it protects, uh, it gives you a higher return, but not actually pure in, uh, investment because it also gives you protection. Mm-mm. So it's a two in one product. Mm. Did that answer <coughs> your question? Yes. Uh- that's okay. it. Thank you. Sure. Yes. All right. <laughs> it's eleven thirty four. So so um investments, right? Insurance. You said protect the breadwinner. How yes. about insurance for like um your kids future schooling? Yumaganon, just to save up so that you have something tucked away. Yeah, it's called mutual fund or problem. That's the one. Yes. Okay, sorry. It's, okay. Yeah, it's still called mutual fund. Uh because uh at the end of the day, they say it's for educational fund. It's mm-hmm. it, but at the end of the day, it's still the same. It's still money. Yeah, yeah. it's still okay. money. They just dress it up a little bit different. They just package it a little bit different. It mm-hmm. strikes a nerve. So that you buy it. Yes, yeah. exactly. Ah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. when you look at the numbers, they al- always give the same percentage. It's the same. Mm-hmm. It's the same. It's yeah, the same. they I just see. package it. They just dress it. It's just it's all about marketing. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So you suggest that. So so. Okay, so Kunyari, you have money. You suggest that you keep that money in different um, investments, yes, right? Yes, yes. Not and keep it. Not keep it, but like you roll the money. Yeah, yes, you roll yes. the money. And at the same time, you can also do that in insurance. Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Spread it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's 11.35. We have a question from M. Uh, recently, my husband started a YouTube channel. Just for Yay. his passion of cooking. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's all about cooking tutorials. And at the end of the tutorial, we do something like a taste test to connect with the viewers. Mm-hmm. Question. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
I can feel that he's feeling kind of disappointed of the number of people that subscribe to his channel. It's becoming his goal rather than just passion. Can you give <laughs> tips on how to make his YouTube channel garner more subscribers? Mm-hmm. For him not to be disappointed, thanks and God bless. Again, he needs to go back to his original intent. Why is he doing it? Mm-hmm. Is, is he doing it for the numbers or is he doing it because yeah. of the passion? Doing a YouTube channel start, may be simple, but it's not easy. Simple mm-hmm. in the sense you can just get a camera and shoot, shoot and mm-hmm. then upload it. But it's not easy because it takes time to learn. It takes time to build a channel. It takes mm-hmm. time to build a community. It yeah. takes time to build followers. It takes time to connect. It really takes time. There's no such thing. Uh, but how come Alex Gonzaga has uh, 4 mm-hmm. million? Mm-hmm. How come Jamil in less than 2 years has 7 million? <laughs> Because these people got lucky. Yes, it's just like one in a million. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in for regular people just like us, it really takes time. Mm-hmm. You need to be patient. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want, really, just like me and Andy were saying a moment ago, number one is very important is your content that you want to give. Yes. How can it help other people? It's not about what you want to offer. It's yeah. hitting as hitting and meeting the need of a person. Mm-hmm. And then number two, it should be consistent mm-hmm. consistent mm-hmm. in the sense that they know how often will you upload okay you will say I will up- upload once a, uh, once a week okay every Monday okay so people will look forward to it and yeah. number three it's con- connection your connection with your audience how well are you connecting with your audience sometimes mm-hmm. you just want to do something but you're not really connecting yeah this is uh, what they call Makes sense. Um, engagement yes, yes. Right? engagement yes. Okay. how well are you connecting Wow. Well, I hope that answers your question, M. Thank you very much for sending it in. 86310899 before we let the tans go. So many go. people calling. I know. Magic, hello. <laughs> yes, good morning. Hi. Good morning. Who's yeah. this? Yeah, good morning. Yeah, first time caller. Uh, What's your name, like sir? Sorry. Topic, no? Yeah, this is JD. JD, okay. Shoot. Yeah, uh, I forgot the name of your guest, but he mentioned a while ago about his investment in painting. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh... I, I myself is a, is a fan no, of uh, painting because of uh, what they said uh, that might add up the value in, uh, in years' time. Yes. But uh, I'm not that familiar with the, the painters or what are sort of the, uh, mm-hmm. the uh, uh, factors to consider. To know? Ah, yeah. Okay. yeah. In invest before investing. Yeah. In a piece of art. Of, uh, name of painters, something oh, like okay, that. Okay. Yes. That I need to know. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's a good question. What's your name again? Yeah, this is JD. JD, this is Chinky Tan. Uh, yeah, good morning. To me. Yeah, Tan. the good news is this. Uh, actually, me and a friend of mine who's a collector for over, I think, twenty or thirty years. Mm-hmm. But oh pri- my gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're coming out with a uh, with a new <laughs> online online thing that to to teach people about art as a form of investment. Wow. Yes, That's we. So specific. Yes, because uh, we want to help people uh, yeah. t- uh, to give alternatives for people to place their money. Wow. Because okay. number one, it's a good thing that you can place something that you really like on the wall. Yeah. And in time, if you need some, if you need money, you can pull it really, down. yeah pull it down and then market and sell it. So we're coming out with that. Please watch out. Just follow my, uh, follow me at my Facebook account or my YouTube account. Sooner or later, give it at least a two a month or two. We'll announce it already. We're gonna educate people on how to oh, collect okay, arts okay. and use art yeah. as an art form and in, as an investment. Galing. It's really okay, really good. I'll, it's really really uh, good. Stay mm. tuned for that, okay, JD. I'll wait for that. Uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. You should watch out for that. Okay. 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 Thank Thanks you. So Thank you so okay. much. Thanks, JD. Bless, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Talk yes. about like a niche. Talk yes. about like a niche market. Artwork. Really zero yeah. in on that. So you, you're, you're not <laughs> familiar about like art. art. No. I, I no. was clueless also before but because of a friend of ours, okay, I think I can mention his name. <laughs> <laughs> Julius Babau. Ah, Julius Babau. Yes. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. Julius mm-hmm. Babau and Christine Babau. Okay. So they're here in the back of your book. She y- says something. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So they were the ones who educated us and about really, art. yes. And I, I'm really, I was, I, I'm really so happy that I've learned about it mm-hmm. because I was clueless. So often people say, "What you do not know in life will not kill you," but mm-hmm. right now in the 21st century, what you don't know in life will really drain you. Wow. If your competition know what. Uh, know more than you than do you. Uh, 
you'll be left behind. Mm-hmm. So without me knowing, uh, we're missing a lot. We were just talking. If we can really turn back the hands of yeah. time when we were this, we should have when already. We were pr- yeah, we Maybe should have already placed our money here yeah. because we have excess. And the money value should be this right now. Oh, wow. You were able to backtrack. Of course, yeah. because we, we learned that the prices were this only, uh, this uh, minimal when mm. uh, during the time. So yeah. we were shocked at the prices right now. And there are still a lot of buyers. In art, it's very simple. It's simple, the principle of supply and demand. Mm. When the supply is little and the demand is great, the prices go up. Mm-hmm. And then we got to understand not all artists can really produce mass production. Yeah. Some of them can only do 10 a year. Yeah. But there's a hundred people who's lined up. So you, you'll be lined up for 10 years before you can get an art from this wow. person. So, but by 10 years time, the price will already be enormous compared Sky to high. you getting it right now. So again, that's coming that's out a different in a month world. or two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a month or two. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay. It's uh, 1141-8631-0899. Magic, hello. Hi. 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 Who's this? Hello. Yeah, this is Shet. Okay, Shet. Shet. What's your question? Yes. Yeah. Um... Uh, I'd like to ask lang, um, kasi, um, me and my husband, um, currently, um, applied for a housing loan. And then, um, yung si, yung si bank, they suggested, parang, we know, we know her naman, parang, she suggested na, um, baka, gusto naman na ilensen yung len, yung loan, let's say, from 15 years, gawin naman siyang, 25 years mm-hmm. para daw mas mm-hmm. maliit yung monthly na babayaran. So, what's the question? But, so, well, uh, okay. um, the question is, um, which is parang mas-mas okay mm-hmm. na bayaran ba namin ng mat- mas matagal but mm-hmm. pero mas mura siya or let's say pay it in 15 years and then after mm-hmm. 15 years bayad na kami. Ang, ang worry ko kasi let's say, when, when I got like this I'm 39. So after 20 years, I'd be uh, 50. Oo, oh, 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 oh. 50 plus. So mm-hmm. hindi ko sure kung may Kaya work back ako by that time. Mm-hmm. So, natakot ako na baka dumating yung time na yon. wala na kami work ni husband. Tama, tama, tama. So, so, so ang, ang si husband naman, ang isip niya, um, mm-hmm. pwede na longer, baka makaipon tayo kasi mas maliit yung monthly natin, mm-hmm, so mas mm-hmm. makakaipon pa rin tayo, mm-hmm. pwede pa natin siyang i-invest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yun yung thinking. So parang, nag-iisip kami together na, while, while waiting for the bank, kasi nagpakot kami for 15, 20, and 25, kung, so mm-hmm. hindi kami, hindi namin sure kung which is the best Sige. option for us. Okay, what's your name, ma'am? She, I'm She. She, okay, the rule yes. of thumb is this, when is the right time for you to purchase a house? If you have, if you don't have the house, uh, you should listen to this right now, especially when you're driving. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not, I'm not driving. Yeah. Okay. My question to you, She. Let's be particular. Are you renting right now? Yes. How much your rental budget as of now? Now, sobrang mura niya. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. How much can yes. you stretch? How much can you stretch in terms of your rental budget that will not break your budget? Okay. Um. Um when when we look for a house no. to mortgage no you, we're you looking, no, okay. no sorry sorry tell Go me ahead. your rental budget don't don't look at your mortgage yeah. the potential okay, mortgage okay okay how much can you stretch 8000 9000 10000 15000 give me a number yeah, after 15K. That 15K. Was the okay, if you yeah. can find, if you can find a rent to own or probably a bank loan that allows you to pay 15,000 pesos per month and below, you should buy it. Mm. Are you... I are, should buy the... Are you, are you following? I, if it's 15,000 and below, you should buy it. Why? Because it's part of your rental budget. Why throw away good money if you can own it? Right, right. Okay, number two. What if it's 16,000, it's your dream home? Will you buy it? Yes or no? What if it's uh, 16,000 pesos per month? No pressure. It's not even me. Uh, she, will you buy it? Yes or no? Or should you uh, buy yes. it? The answer is no. Because your maximum allowance for your rental budget is only up to 15. If you say 16, you're going to break your budget. You can pay it probably for a few years, but you cannot sustain it mm-hmm. in the long term. So you got to be careful before you make a commitment. 
Because don't justify anyway. I, it's going to be ours. Let's find a way. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So you just need to be realistic as of right now. Mm-hmm. So if you are saying 15,000, so the one that's going to dictate actually is it 5 years, 10 years, 15, 20? No. It, the one that's going to dictate is your budget. So as of now, your re- uh, the budget that you are you are capable of paying is only up to 15. Don't go beyond that. Do you follow? Yes, yes. Um, but what if, what if, like, like, um, we're earning enough to pay for 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 the uh, buy, but then, um, medyo tight siya. The budget nga. would be very very tight. Kaya nga yun yung ang point ko, eh, di ba? Sinabi ko sa yon. Magkano na ngayon ang tinignan mong loan na yung sa pinaka ano, maikli? Magkano ng bini, binibigay sa inyo? Magkano? Actually, it's 40. 40,000? 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, yes, for 20 years. Well, that's more but than... Yeah. We, we, we're, um, we look into it. Kaya naman siya. Kaya naman siya. With the current salary me and my husband have. Yeah. Have right now. Yes. Yeah. But the, yun nga. Ang, ang issue namin was... Um, will we take it longer? Or yeah. Get, shorter, like, ganito lang ito eh. Ito yung problema. Kaya nyo kasi two income earners. God forbids, mm-hmm. God forbids one right. mm-hmm. income mm-hmm. earner lost its income, what will mm-hmm. happen? I always tell people to always expect the best in life, but you must always prepare for the worst. Mm-hmm. You always okay. think like that. Hindi ka pwedeng okay. ano, optimistic ka lang, di ba? It's, okay. oh, hindi, parang, it's just like a car. A car has a spare tire. Why? Just in case you have a flat, you have something to spare. But you don't pray, sana ma-flat ako, sana ma-flat ako, sana ma-flat ako. So that you can use it. <laughs> <laughs> so, alam mo, maganda yung plano nyo, but I hope that you, I suggest that you stick pa rin to what you can afford. 40 for me is a stretch for you. If you're telling me it's 15 to 20,000, pal- palagay ko, kaya mo ilaban yan. ba? Kasi, ano eh, comfortable pa eh. Pag 40, kamo stretch ka na talaga, super stretch ka na. And there's no room for error. Right? Okay, okay. So you pray about it, huh? Pray about it. Okay? Okay. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you so much. Sure. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. 11.47 is the time. AJ said to Novi and sorry. To Novi, my wife and I are pro-homeschooling and I can say it's a great money saver. I agree the most important thing is family values. Mm-hmm. I would like to know what curriculum she's using to homeschool oh, wow, their that's... kids. Give a few. <laughs> give a few. Go. It's a give long a time. Few. It will take the whole day. But you know, give because um, Chinky and I really advocate of honoring the the, the learning curve of your child. Mm. So I, we don't buy curriculums. Now we think it's you know it's beautiful, it's colorful, oh. it's uso. Oh. So we make sure that it matches the, the learning, learning style. style of the child. So but iba. then again. Yeah. You need to be holistic. I, I do not like you naman to be gauging yourself or in a box na, I learning style, learning style. Because our child learns as he or she grows. Mm. So sometimes it will add, uh, you need to introduce a little bit of like, for example, if your child is audiovisual. Mm-hmm. Yun yung strength niya ngayon. Mm-hmm. Pero in the next three to five years, hindi niya maging audio, maging kinetic, mag add yan. So make sure na even though for now, meet the need of your child. Yes. And then, from then, unti-unti ka mag- mag-observe or introduce mo yung mga new learning so that your child can be holistic. So, it's not about something that works for you, that you love, um, you think that uh, your child will be able to learn more better. Mm-hmm. You test, you test certain. What, kasi what I do is I interview a lot of homeschoolers. Okay. Okay. And I try to do shadowing. Mm-hmm. Meaning, I go to the houses of mm-hmm. I still 14 years ago my first year kasi ako medyo my personality very sigurista ko. So on my hindi ako kagad nag-start mag homeschool. What I did is I interviewed like 14 families. Mm-hmm. And then wow. I went to one of their houses and gauge. Mm-hmm. Na, how oh ganto ito yung anak niya isang 1 year old, isang 3 year old pero gusto niya mag homeschool. So I I look at the routine on how it goes and mm-hmm. how it flows. Mm. So it's like a internship. Oh, oh, oh. So I I call it shadow. <laughs> oh, okay. And then and I also test my child and how he, um, he or she will be able to have fun. Mm. The goal is it's not about Learning. the curriculum that you buy. It's oh. not that. 
it's about talaga the, your connection, your relationship with child. Always remember that, you know, relationship is more important than academics. Mm-hmm. So don't be so curriculum based. Mm-hmm. It's so funny. Relationship is more important than money, and yes. relationship is more important than academics. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. lahat naman it boils down with relationship. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. So connection. Be, to give him a better idea of what curriculum, because it's already written in all, in this book, all the curriculums it's, it's inside. It's called yeah. I Homeschool. Oh, oh wow. where, where can he get? Yeah. No, so he can go to my website at ihomeschool.ph. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this is like. What I like with what we did with this book is I'm not the only the author here. I'm the main author, but I asked like uh, 10 families per chapter on their experiences as well. Oh, so, so I call it as a voice of a homeschooler. So it's not only my one idea. This is mm-hmm. for you, Ricky, and that's for yes. me. Thank you. It's actually very easy to read. Yeah, at, a, easy... the, at the back of my book, uh, can you open that? This the one, there's a, there's a code. Yeah, there's a code. You can get free organizers, teacher organizer, and student organizer. Oh, so you nice. can use that whether you're homeschooling or not. Yeah. So it teaches how, how to do your mission and vision as a family. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jericho so, Blanco listening right now. Hi. Yeah, I, I also explained there the lies about homeschooling. So mm-hmm. Lies. It says here, find out if homeschooling is a good choice for you and your family. Yes. Glang, it's 11.51. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, guys. Before we let you go, last question. And this is probably, we're going to leave it at this. Okay. Mm. Like final word. Is there an age limit to managing your money properly? Is there an age limit? Can you be, you know, 50 (laughs) and still turn things around? Can you... Yeah, I I always tell people it's never too early. It's never too late. Never ever think that uh, I'm still young to start. I'm I'm too old. Always remember, as long as you're willing to learn, as you're willing to restart, I, I think there's always a restart button in life. I always tell people never live your life in regret. Always live the life, your life to the fullest. And never live your life in the past because one thing I've learned about the past, your past hurt, past mistakes. You can never change your past, but you can sure change your future by making the right decision today. Nice. What a final word. Wow. Thank you, Chinky. <laughs> yes. Thank oh, you follow so us. Much. Follow Enjoy us at YouTube. You yeah. Thank follow you us at huge, my YouTube account. My YouTube account is Chink Positive. And uh, my Facebook account is Chinkitan. And we have also a YouTube account together. It's yeah, called it's Happy, Happy Wife, Wife, Happy, Happy Life. Life. Ah, nice. Yeah. Okay. YouTube. And also follow my Instagram, iHomeschoolPH. Mm-hmm. And Happy Wife, hashtag, uh, Happy Wife Novi. Very thank nice. you, Rex Bautista, for tuning in. And Chris Lim. Yeah, thank you so much, Andy, Ricky. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very thank much. Thank you, guys, for Such being here. Such an honor for, you know, for know. to share. For us, for you guys to be here to share your nuggets of wisdom. And for the books. Thank you. Yes, and the books also. Thank you so much. We've got that Mommy Magic. The Mother Show on Magic 89.9.